Hello again, guys. Uh, this is Ethan again. This is another short screencast uh, to uh, discuss something kind of related to the last one, which was Cocoa Pods. Uh, this one is discussing uh, bridging headers, which is the way that Swift and Objective-C can interact. Uh, this is handy if you want to include new uh, Swift files in your Objective-C uh, projects, but in my case, it's because I want to include uh, frameworks namely the Evernote framework uh, that is written in Objective-C in my Swift project. And so this allows me to import the Objective-C objects uh, and use them in my Swift files. So this requires a couple of steps. First, we have to create a new file, a new header file. So we have to check source, header file, and then name it something good uh, when Xcode import or creates one for you when you import Objective-C code uh, it names it after your project uh, dash bridging header so I'm gonna do something similar here um, Xcode didn't create mine uh, by uh, for me because I included the Objective-C via CocoaPods so then I have my heading header and then you do any of your includes include any of the Objective-C headers that you need. In my case, it's the uh, Evernote, the main Evernote header. So then you have to go tell Xcode where your bridging header is. So you go to the uh, project settings and I search for a fat finger bridging, uh, but it, I do eventually get there. You add the header here and you have to note that it is in relation to the top of your top level of your project. So in my case, I have to do Evernote space memory slash EM bridging header instead of just the bridging header name because it looks at the it starts at the, looking at it at the top level. Um, and so it still fails. So now I have to look for user header search files, uh, search paths, and I have to include pod slash star star to make sure it finds all of the header files uh, under the pods that I included via CocoaPods. Then this uh, fixes it. But I did have to change the, the header file a little bit, uh, re remove the black brackets and uh, replace them with double quotes. Uh, but with those fixes, uh, it, it worked. So join me next time for another exciting episode. Bye guys.